What kind of man will come to this country? A north of Superior, kind of by luck, I had a, a bush pilot, Fritz Meyer, who I don't think he'd ever done aerial photography before, but he was so good that if I'd never been there, he would have done wonderful aerial photography. The camera was mounted right in the nose of the plane, so if anything, the audience in the IMAX theater has an experience more intense than the pilot does, because the pilot's sitting back in a cockpit looking through a window, and the camera was just out there having the point of view of the airplane itself. And so the audience is having the experience of flight unmediated by any other intervening factors. I've worked with a lot of pilots, and there are some that just, just don't get it. They don't understand how to maneuver the plane to make a good shot, and it was just natural to Fritz. He flew very low over a number of places, and he was quite surprised when this flight was over. He looked at his wing, and there, stuck in the end of the wing, was a pine cone. That indicated that we had flown about as low as we could. 